All right, it's recording. Sexy times, and then we go home and have sexy times. Welcome to the first week of the June devotional. So good to see you. Good to see you. I am not alone. I am with the love of my life, Stella and her friend, Mr. Crokers. Coming out, Stella and Mr. Crokers. Say hello. Right now is the time for action. Say hello, Mr. Croakers. What's up? And also, we have Bear E. White Bear here. Come on up, Bear E. White Bear. That he did such a good job, but they let us do the joint devotionals. So, who's got a story to talk about today? I did it last week. That's true, you did. I think it's we not bad. Well, there's four weeks in June, and four of us, so each one of us can do a story each week. So, I guess I'll start. Yeah, you start on Roscoe, Roscoe. Thanks, baby. That's love, boy and girl. Well, there once was a prophet. His name was Elijah. Oh, yeah! He was a good man, God. Yes, he was. And there once was a woman who had no husband and had and was running out of food. You guys like running out of food? No. No, I don't because I'm Mr. Kroger, so I take it. And so Elijah went to this woman and she said, or he asked her, please make me some bread. And the woman said to him, sir, I only have a small bit of bread. Oh, no. Yes, a small bit of bread. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of bread. I am going to make a meal for me and my son so we can eat and then we are going to die. Wow. What's with you in the dark stories? But wasn't Elijah telling stud muffin 
Don't do that. Who would have lied? Don't, 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 don't forget how this woman said to me. Who would have lied? He lied to tell this woman. Well, he said, please make me food first, and then you will have food left over. Oh, what? Right. Where does it go? For you and your oh, son. God. And so, there you get excited already? I'm going to get the old bread. Okay. And so that's what the woman did. The woman made the bread for her and her son. Or for her, I'm sorry. She made the bread for Elijah, and she took it to Elijah. And then the boy went and said, Mommy, we have food. We have bread and oil. We have food. And the Bible says they had so many jars but they had, were so overjoyed that for me was fulfilled. Oh, that's a good story. Yes, it was. Barry, how about you tell us how the story applies to us? Oh, I'm going to get the older bread. I'm going to go get, I'm going to go out the organ for you. All right. Barry, come on up here. How does this story apply to our life? Barry, how does this story apply to our life? You know, man. You know, man. Uh, God provides just like He provided for that woman. Oh, come on now. You know, and that's why we ask and we put God first. <laughs> and you know, because God will provide and we shall be stressing because God is God. So what you're saying, Mary, is that we don't have to worry because God's got it? Yes. Oh, come on now. Keep on doing, Mary. And then, so we shouldn't be stressed out. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, man, I can't. Somebody should I just sit down. No. That's right. Thank you, Mary. So you see, boys and girls, we don't have to worry because God's God is under control. He will provide. He's, he is our provider. And I believe our praise head friends have a song about that. I should give a hand to Mr. Crocus. Yeah, good job, Mr. Crocus of the organ. Oh, uh, you know I'm Mr. Crocus. So let's see the praise heads sing this song. Let's check it out. We'll see you next week, boys and girls. Praise heads, take it away.
do. Hey. You might want to do an MP3. <laughs>